What's up guys? I got a new pair of Red Wing boots. I got this pair of 8133s. I guess these are uh, Japan only exclusive shoes, but I found them in uh, here in the States at a Nordstrom rack. So uh, these are factory seconds. Um, when I bought them, I didn't realize, I didn't see anything um, other than some stitching errors that uh, might cause it to get sent down to the seconds unit, like right here. It doesn't go all, the stitching doesn't go all the way up like everything else. The stitching here and here. And that was about it. That's all I could find. Um, these are size 9E and they are very comfortable. I use a nine and a half in my 1907s, and those are size nine and a half as well on those uh, on the green mocks over here. The eight two three three, I believe these are. The, okay, yes, eight two three three, and those were Japanese exclusives too. This has the Super Soul uh, soles. With the chevron uh, chevron um, grip right there very uh, comfortable shoes almost as uh, nice as these the wedges um, yeah so I tried them on they were very comfortable at the store which uh, was kind of odd to me but um, they all in all they came out good um, didn't I'm still breaking them in, not much to be broken in, but um, the only part that I'm having a problem with is right here. I'm getting like the pressure here from this tip, I believe, of the leather. I don't, I don't know if it's not bending here or if it's this that's poking my uh, my foot, and that's on both sides. Maybe it's just a little too hard the leather here. But that's about it. Um, so yeah, again, these are factory seconds, um, and I bought them at Nordstrom, and they were only uh, one hundred thirty dollars. And I'm um, not sure how much they they uh, retailed for in Japan. I guess these are a couple of years old. And as you can see right here, here's the hole punch, uh, so that uh, you know they're factory seconds. Here is the tongue of the shoe, 8133. Nine uh, E, so these are wide, uh, which is probably why I like these a lot. Um, while these are 9.5s, the 1907s. Um, here's the other shoe. Um, these eyelets are kind of cutting into the leather here. I guess it's kind of sharp. I did wear these a couple days already. So, um, yeah, I've had these about a week and I've used them for a couple hours. I uh, actually wore these to a wedding with my suit and they uh, look pretty good. Um, with some tight fitting, uh, with some slim, slim pants. And here's the inside. You got the leather sole, a uh, leather insole, which are very comfortable. So uh, these, out of the box, you can put lots of miles on them uh, without getting hurt. Um, and yeah, they kind of scuff up a little easy. Not bad. These did hold up. Uh, in the rain, I wore them to a wedding, and uh, it was raining the whole evening, and uh, these kind of took a beating, but they're still nice and shiny, as you can see. Good leather, expensive leather. Look how thick that is, like all Red Wing, Red Wing boots. So uh, yeah, I was actually looking for some some Iron Rangers. I'm still looking for a pair of Iron Rangers. Hopefully I could find some at uh, Nordstrom Rack, uh, some factory seconds in my size. Um, they did have some Wolverine 1000 miles and uh, those were kind of pricey for me uh, for buying them at um, 
at a Nordstrom rack. They were still priced at like 200. Maybe if they they were like about maybe uh, 150 price range for those uh, Wolverines, I probably would have bought them. Some Capto uh, Wolverine 1000s. Um, but that 199 price point was a little too high for uh, for them for me at uh, Nordstrom Rack. Um, so yeah, these are very comfortable shoes. I really like this sole. Um, this kind of got these uh, white stitch stitching here. Uh, kind of, uh, almost didn't buy them because of that white stitching. But um, I've seen pictures on Instagram and Pinterest of some worn um, 8133s and uh, they kind of darken like any white thing they'll uh, with the wear they'll they'll darken and uh, I guess if I put some shoe polish on it uh, maybe they'll even turn black and you won't notice them so it would have been nice if it was like the regular mock toe where they use the same stitch chain but for uh, this they just uh, did it here on the mock toe and uh, didn't continue the white over here um, so yeah, that's, here's a closer look at the bottom of the sole, which I love. These are really good, and these can take a, a good shock, and they're very, uh, non-slip shoes. Again, super sole, it says oil resistant on the bottom. Very good shoes. And here's still my favorite boot, the 1907. Had these uh, conditioned at the store recently, so uh, actually they look drier now than when I didn't have them conditioned and they were uh, straight uh, stock for a year. Um, I don't know what those girls did at the Red Wing, Red Wing store in Norwalk, California, but uh, they didn't do a good job over there. <laughs> So I'm um, thinking of just getting my own products to uh, take care of my shoes and once again here are the 8233s I believe. It's hard to see these. These are 2883, my bad. 2883 mocks with this suede or s soft leather I believe. I'm not sure. I believe this is suede. It's gr green suede. And these are again um, Japan. Uh, only release shoes very cool and there you go there's my collection my growing collection of uh, Red Wing boots and right now they're all mock toe so uh, maybe I'll get some Red, uh, Red Wing Iron Rangers soon I'm also looking at some Chukas and um, the Postmans the Postmans aren't bad either so uh, just keep watching my videos uh, I'll be posting some as I get them, I'm always looking for boots, used, new, whatever, uh, on eBay. I got th these on eBay for 70 bucks, I believe. So this is 130, and I got my 1907s on sale, uh, I believe, during Christmas time last year. Uh, the tax-free sale, and there was even additional discount, and that those came out to only 200. Uh, 240 I believe so uh, I've been getting some pretty good deals with my Red Wing boots and I'm loving them so far so I spent about what five, almost $500 on some quality made in the USA boots and uh, I got some pretty rare uncommon uh, Red Wing boots here in my collection very cool love them to death and it's got the speed laces, which I'm a fan of now. I didn't like these at first, but then I realized how easy it is to uh, take your boots off once <laughs> once you get home. Because you just take this off and basically everything's loose. And you can just slip your boots off. My 1907s are kind of a pain to, pain to take off when I get home because I tie them pretty tight. Um and uh yeah so i love these things to death and look at that insole very comfortable love the insoles on this 1907 worth the price and that stitching that double stitching for waterproof over there on these 
and to dry. Alrighty, so uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos, and um, I'll be having I'll be adding more red boot red wing boots in my collection, hopefully soon, and uh, I'll be posting vid more videos of them. Bye.